Hello everyone, are you ready for the reckoning? Yes, when Saturn enters the last portion of any sign, especially his own sign, Capricorn, he brings a summing up of the whole transit. This is when he gives his reward. Saturn always delays, so be certain that the rewards or the difficulties of Capricorn transit for you are going to come to a crescendo now, but there is always resolution. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to sub below. And if the video is good for you, give it a thumbs up up let's begin let's get the key dates for your diary everybody on july the 13th saturn in retrograde and powerful motion goes back into his own sign of capricorn the most crucial time in the transit is the 22nd 25th of october in these four days saturn will be completely still stationary in the sky as he turns to direct motion this is like a cog turning in your life and in the world it's a most important turning point he leaves Capricorn finally on Jan 17, 23, never to return, you should know, for 28 years. So July the 13th, then Saturn enters Capricorn, everybody. And you should think about this in this way. If you were going to leave your home for such a long time, as I've just said, in fact, Saturn doesn't come back again into Capricorn until 2049 to 2050. So wouldn't you want to prepare things in your home, get things sorted out? And this is what Saturn does at the end of his transit. It's actually why Saturn is known wherever he is to tie things up at the end of a transit, but particularly when when he's in his own home. It's a definite reckoning, summing up, finalization of factors in a really big way. And for some signs, he gives the most tremendous rewards during the last six months of his transit. To complement Saturn's homecoming to Capricorn for the last six months of settling things, we can see that many planets are equally strong. Jupiter is strong in own sign of Pisces, Mars, warrior planet in his own sign of Aries, and Mercury is in his own sign of Gemini. This gives a lot of power to people to get things moving in their life. Don't be afraid of the retrograde motion. Retrograde means twice as powerful to complete something which is not completed. You are going back to something which needs to be revisited so that you can finally draw a line under it. But the crisis point, or the point of no return, if you like, will be when Saturn turns direct, which will be on October the 23rd, 2022, a few days before, a few days after. He is stationary direct, as we say in astrology. This is when there is a definite revisiting of something in your life, which is completely thrown out or revitalized. Something has to move on to a new phase now. Saturn powerfully goes direct on this date. He will not allow you to look over your shoulder anymore. Everybody has to move forward. In world affairs, the moment of Saturn turning direct, again, October 23rd, will be seminal as well. The end of October is very important. In fact, Saturn is back in the sign of the graveyard, causing disruption, health difficulties, COVID-19 difficulties. It's going to be a very disruptive autumn indeed, but there is hope only because Saturn is turning things around, as I've just shown you at the end of October. What will happen is... He is aspecting Jupiter in Pisces, showing that people are becoming harsher, governments are becoming less caring, less cooperative, and most importantly, he is having at the end of October this aspect to the Sun, Venus, and K2, a 10th aspect to the Sun, Sun is leaders, a debilitated Sun in Libra with Venus and K2. Once again, at the end of October, Mars, the dispositor of Saturn in Capricorn. Saturn cannot be his own dispositor, by the way. So the exaltation planet of Capricorn is Mars. Mars is in a 6-8 relationship to Saturn. As a dispositor, it's a very big crisis point in war situations, negotiation situations. It's going to get tense indeed because governments are weakened. Indeed, some leaders world leaders may be actually forced out of office around the end of October. On to the readings, we are using the Vedic Moon and Ascendant only, of course. If you are not sure where your sidereal Moon and Ascendant is, please check the website below to make sure you have the correct sign. Let's begin. Aries Moon and Aries Ascendant both. You know, Shani is a very demanding planet for you. He's no friend to your Lord Mars and he rules the 10th and 11th house of your chart. He always demands a lot from you. And when he's in the 10th house, particularly from the moon, career can come just basically falling apart. You can have loss of status, difficulty with 
boss, loss of job, or even if you get promotion, the amount expected of you, it doesn't go very well. You don't realize what you will have to do with that promotion and it just becomes completely dissatisfying to you. You can't do what you want to do at the present time. Since 2020, your career has been very much causing you a lot of heartache, dissatisfaction and even monetary loss. Now, by the way, these career issues are sometimes much more pressing from the moon in Aries than from Ascendant. And of course, for everybody, moon and Ascendant, Saturn's pressing factor is on the fourth house of the chart. This is mother and home. Mother in the last two years may have had health issues. Sometimes even loss of parents can be seen by such a dramatic aspect to this house of home. But whatever it is, you yourself have had to have relocation, change of home, or home has become very, very difficult to maintain with many, many repairs and out of control situations developing. It's been extremely stressful. Saturn aspects 12th house, foreign lands, foreign connections, which may have been involved in this domestic move. And of course, Saturn's 10th aspect onto the 7th house has definitely changed relationships in a big way. Some of you have got married, started a permanent relationship, but it's demanded a lot from you. And actually, it's been difficult financially and it's been difficult domestically to make things work to begin with, at least. And some of you have even ended relationship because Saturn makes you make a definite decision either way. Someone new has come into your life, certainly, maybe business-wise as well, but it's all put a lot of stress on yourself. It's a very independent factor having Saturn 10th house of your chart and relationships may have been strained by this. So what's going to happen in the last six months? More challenges, definitely, but a summing up for you, a final relief that you know you can't go back to the past. So your domestic situation hasn't been satisfactory, but there will be more hassles, more difficulties to face in the last six months, but it will make you certain where you belong. You will have no doubt where your home should be in the next six months. There will be an absolute crisis, particularly in October, but that will be the final cog in the wheel. Do you move? Do you stay? You will know exactly what to do in October of this year. In your career also, you may just pack up and leave now. You're just going to not stand anymore for these restrictive circumstances. Don't forget, Saturn's quickly going into the 11th house for profit and much more success career-wise from January 23. So you will finally see limitations of current situation or you'll simply be pushed out of the door, some of you. Not a very nice thing for Aries because Aries hate that. They like to be in control, but it very well may happen. If it does, don't be afraid. After January, you will definitely find your feet again. And connections again to foreign lands become very, very important with Saturn's third aspect here. Something needs to be tied up far away from home. You may be traveling during this time to sort that out or people may be coming to you domestically. Either way, connections to foreign lands are very, very strong. And of course, Saturn continues now for the next six months to influence your seventh house of relationships. Important discussions will definitely take place with near and dearest business partners, even spouse, even close friends. When Saturn aspects the seventh house of your chart, are they going in the same direction as you? Do you have a future together? So much needs to be discussed openly, which hasn't been done before. Once again, October is a crunch time, but you're going to feel more in control now, more certain what's working for you and what isn't. For Taurus Moon, Taurus Ascendant, certainly Shani in the ninth house of your chart has changed your whole philosophy of life since 2020. Since the beginning of 2020, you've had a new philosophy. This could be political, this could be religious, something has changed. Even some of you have found a new guru, leader, mentor, teacher who has completely inspired you. But Saturn in the ninth house of foreign travel has curbed your ability to move around as much. Some of you, of course, we've had COVID-19 that's affected everybody, but specifically to you. And Saturn here has definitely focused your mind on higher aspects of life, higher learning. Those of you in education, it's been a tremendously important time, but many obstacles, many difficulties in your education have caused you distress.
Since 2020, Saturn's third aspect on the 11th house has taken friendships away from your life, old friends, but brought new supporters, new important people, responsible people who demand a lot of you, but also give a lot back. Whether willingly or not, Saturn's aspect is a third house that puts you in touch with your local community far more. You've been far more involved with your neighbours, people near to you, and this has actually been of benefit for you if you think about it deeply. Connections, though, to your siblings, both elder siblings, siblings, 11th house, younger siblings, third house, have become very important, almost pivotal during the last two years. Hasn't always been easy, but it's been important. Connections to your cousins and other family members has also become very, very important to you. Perhaps the biggest change has been Saturn's 10th aspect onto the 6th house. Yes, there's been health issues, health concerns, but you have made tremendous strides in dealing with these yourself and with the help of experts. You have really taken on a great deal of responsibility for your health and it's probably starting now to pay off most definitely. You've had conflicts in your work environment, work colleagues, etc. But once again, you have come out on top. Litigation, conflicts, difficulties, you have actually been able to deal with these in a really stoic and practical way during the last two years. By the way, Sixth House also represents small animals, pets, and Saturn's 10th aspect here could, of course, health issues for them, difficulties which you had to apply a lot of time to dealing with. Even loss of small pets, small animals could be seen. What's happening in the next six months for Taurus as Saturn goes back into Capricorn for students? It's a seminal moment, particularly around October. You finally make the decision you've been putting off for so long. Do you continue with the course? Can you understand the course? Is it the right course for you? It is. It probably is because Saturn here gives you tremendous long-term benefits from study at this time, even though it's difficult. Finally, mentors, teachers and all supporters come to your side to help you make this important decision. Getting connections with your friendship and network circles becomes very important with Saturn's third aspect onto this 11th house. Yes, you've left friends behind, but these new friends in your life, you need to put effort to maintain them because they have so much to give you now. Securing these up in the next six months is going to be very important for you. And new source of income is there. It requires extra effort, maybe overtime, but it's going to be worthwhile. And yes, you will definitely have breakthrough in your communication to your siblings. Where it's been difficult, you can finally say things openly. And once again, October is a key time for that happening for Taurus, Lagner and Moon. By the way, Saturn in the ninth house also influences your relationship with your father. In the last two years, there may have been issues or past concerns about your father coming to the fore. They will finally be resolved. Knowledge you get in regard to your father or through your father will be very important in the next six months. And the 10th aspect of Saturn to the 6th house will finally give you the push to resolve long-term health issues, definitely. You've been working with these, struggling with these for the last two years. Now, Saturn's aspect now in the final portion of Saturn Capricorn transit, you will have success. Saturn always gives a delayed success, as I say. So finally, you will make a big health breakthrough that will give you enormous relief. And Saturn aspecting 6th house resolves issues with your work colleagues. Difficult conflicting situations are completely resolved to your satisfaction. Indeed, legal factors, litigation, etc. is also going to be resolved. It's been a long time coming and you're so glad to have the weight off your shoulders. For Gemini Moon and Ascendant, since January 2020, Saturn has been in the 8th house of your chart. Now, Saturn is a friend to your Lord Mercury, but he's going to push you to the edge, particularly from the Moon. It's emotionally challenging because it's Ashtam Shani. This means that you are pushed into unexpected corners. You have great changes, shifts in your business life, in your financial life. Many of you completely lose a job because Saturn aspects 10th house of the chart. Saturn gives many unexpected challenges here, particularly he can give accidents, health problems, difficulties, financial debts, and even whole wipe out of savings pension pots has been known to happen when Saturn is in the eighth house of the chart.
So for sure then, since January 2020 to the present day, it's been a long haul of a jumpy road of difficulty and confrontation. Even with your family members, even with Will's legacies, there's been contention. With starting a family, having children also, if you are in education, you felt unable to concentrate unable to focus on the course. Seeking new relationships has been challenging because of Saturn's 10th aspect onto the 5th house of romantic love. So it's been difficult to bring out that romantic factor, that freshness in new relationships for yourself. Or there has just been no availability of potential partners. And if you've been wanting to start a family, there could have been severe disappointments or sometimes there can be difficulty with children. Children are having problems, health issues. All of these are causing you a great deal of distress. So when Saturn goes back into the eighth house, it mightn't seem a very welcome thing, but actually it is. Because finally you will find the way to tie up these difficult financial factors. Conversations with your family is very important. Wills, legacies, inheritance come to a crescendo now. You finally know what is yours and what is not yours. You have to be accepting of these difficult situations. You find creative solutions to your work problem. You know you've got to try something new now. You know that you can't go back to the job you had before and Saturn will open up opportunities for you because his 10th aspect to the 5th house will find creative solutions for you now. You've been with this problem for long enough to know perhaps much more deeply what it is you want to do and it's not going back to your past work situation. Something has to be done, transformed, completely different. You can't go back to where you were before prior to January 2020. Speculation could be very risky in the last six months because Saturn is not in a mood to give rewards even handedly when he's in the eighth house and aspecting fifth house of speculation being in the eighth house of stock market. Be very careful about stocks and shares taking any risk whatsoever in the last six months could be catastrophic. Please don't do it. See, Geminis like to talk themselves out of awkward situations or don't like to stay too long in difficult feeling situations. So Saturn has made you stick with things way beyond what you would actually normally like to. Another six months of being frugal, being let's say, not as spendthrift as you can tend to be, is going to make everything work out far more better for you. As I say, Saturn will give you solutions to your work problems. He will also give solutions to your health problems. For Cancer Moon, Cancer Ascendant, your life has been transformed since January 2020. The whole structure of your life from top to bottom has changed. Your health has been impacted, your home life and your relationships. It's not been easy from ascendant or moon, but particularly from the moon sign, it's been emotionally churning. You see, Saturn is demanding a complete restructure of your life in this seventh house. He is Dig Bala here in his own sign, extremely strong. He won't let the past stay with you. He demands that you start a whole new existence. And that's why it's been so tough because Cancer likes the past. Cancer clings to security and Saturn has been undermining that most definitely in the last two years. There's also, since these last two years, been struggles with foreign connections, with education, definitely. If you are a student, it's been very, very tough going and also struggles even with your father. Saturn in the seventh can, for moon and ascendant, undermine health of partner, health of your business partner even, health of your very, very close friend. So basically, Saturn here puts a lot of pressure onto you to support them, but your health is also being undermined by this Saturn aspect to the first house in your chart. It's put strain on the closeness and teamwork, if you like, in any marriage, business, relationship, partnership, and definitely sometimes even divorce separation can be seen when Saturn transits in the seventh house. The most important strain, though, is on the fourth house of your chart. Saturn's 10th aspect from his Digbala position is really, really important. You've had to restructure home life. Many of you have been forced to sell property, move, give up because of difficult, unexpected circumstances, or you've been unable to make a change which you've needed to make and you are just feeling stuck. 
Was it more hassle when Saturn comes back into his dig bala position on July the 13th right up until Jan 23? No, actually, it's constructive. Saturn's strength will come to your rescue now. You've put up with many difficult situations, you've struggled through, you've made the best of it. Saturn now will come to your rescue. In relationships, you will finally understand the future together. Do you need to be together or not? If you can be together, resolution will come. If you can't be together, you will know you are okay to move on. There will be improvements in your health and even in your partner's health due to new consultation. Saturn is in the house of consultants, so consultants aid you, help you, give you a more realistic view of how to deal with ongoing health issues. And of course, students will finally decide about the course. Fourth house is actually education, by the way. So Saturn aspecting ninth and fourth house, you will finally either leave the course in the next six months or put so much effort in that it becomes successful. It's a good resolution to your educational dilemma. And your home, property, landed issues definitely benefit in the last portion of Saturn's transit. You will finally make in the next six months that sale, that purchase, which you've wanted to do after so many delays. And you will finally feel more content to let things go that you've been clinging on to desperately for so long. Mother may be having issues again, but this time you will see resolution to them. You are coming to terms with this new phase of your life. During the next six months, you are feeling stronger and more in control. Leo Moon, Leo Lagner. Shani has been in the sixth house of the chart, one of his most powerful and beneficial transits, actually, since January 2020. Yes, there's been COVID-19. The world has been in upheaval. But Leo Moon and Lagner have come through this in some way. You have found strength within. You have survived this and actually even become stronger. So since Saturn entered Capricorn in Jan 2020, Leos have had to sell up business, change business situations, partnerships completely from the bottom. It's actually been good. You've got on top of long-standing financial issues and you've curbed expenses even with Saturn's aspect onto the 12th house of your chart. In the last two years, you've dealt with foreign affairs actually very, very well, dealing with foreign issues in a very snazzy way that has put you in the winner seat, not the loser seat. So debts, obligations, expenditure, everybody, no matter what your job, you've been able to curb them. The thing is that Saturn represents the seventh house of your chart spouse. Being in the sixth house the last two years, spouse may have had serious health problems. There can have been difficulty with understanding of spouse and splits and contentions may have been there. It's because you're becoming more self-focused, but generally it's spouse's health issues that may have caused some concern for many of you. Saturn's strength and importance in this chart may have affected animals in your life if you should have them, particularly pets. There may have been death, loss of a pet sometimes caused you great distress because of Saturn's transit here since Jan 2020. But also, Saturn often brings a very close companion pet-wise into people's lives as well. So if that has not happened as yet, it will probably happen in the next six months. In fact, for all Leo, Saturn's transit again into Capricorn is a great opportunity for revitalization. Your strength will become even stronger. Your certainty of your future will become definite. You will have help dealing with joint finances. Litigation will go in your favor. You will have help in business matters and even business partnerships formed now, formed in this period, will be very successful long term. Any health issues for yourself will be quickly sorted and issues with your siblings will also be openly sorted this time. They've been festering for some time, but in the next six months, you will finally have true and honest conversations settling many, many difficult issues. Of course, as earlier in the transit, when Saturn goes back into the sixth house, he represents your spouse having perhaps illness and health issues. But this time, you're in a stronger position to deal with this, to help the spouse, and a quicker resolution will come. Resolution of foreign affairs will be there. Foreign travel even may be on the cards for some of you. So it's a strengthening time for inner certainty. It's a time when you can actually feel that you are making a big difference in your world. 
For Virgo Moon, Virgo Ascendant, having Saturn in a Tricone or Trine house since January 2020 has definitely been stressful for you, most certainly. It's aspected the seventh house of relationships. It may have been distance between you and your spouse, difficulty finding agreement. Forming new relationships may have been difficult. This is a house of romance. Saturn puts a damper on that, makes you serious about relationships, but finding harmony, true harmony, would have been difficult. If you have business situations, Saturn aspect to the seventh house has closed down the whole marketplace for you. Of course, we've had COVID-19, but it's particularly affected you personally. And you've had difficulty opening up business. And you've had difficulties also financially because Saturn aspects 11th and 2nd house. Income has gone down. Savings have gone down. You've been feeling put in a corner and even a little bit isolated by all of this. Your friendship and network circles have been under stress also during the, during the last few years and you've not been able to maintain as much closeness with them as you would have liked to. Now, Saturn going back into this house, though, once again, is going to help you, even though it might seem it's going to bring up more of the same. First of all, students. This is the house of education learning. Saturn here has made it very hard going for many students, but have faith because when Saturn comes backward, he will reward you for the difficulties you've had on your course. Plod on, you're going to have success. You don't want to quit now because in Jan 2023, Saturn's in the sixth house, giving you all success with your studies. Nor do you want to quit in your business because once again, when Saturn goes forward in, in Jan 23, he will open up all business opportunities and work opportunities to you. You will get on top of workplace stress, issues with your colleagues, issues with the boss. It'll all be sorted when Saturn is in a very strong position from Jan 23. So in these next few months, have patience because things are turning in your favor and you will see signs of this most definitely. But be cautious, don't take any risks financially while Saturn still aspects the 11th and 2nd house. By not taking risks, which Virgos are not very liable to, you will definitely stabilise difficult financial situations in the next six months. You're being serious about relationships, of course, and harmony with your spouse has been difficult. You may be able to make improvements in this or you may not be able to. Important to, though, rely on your close network circles. Saturn, when he gets to the end of any trance, it brings new people into your life. Seen this so many times. But in this particular case, he's more likely to be bringing back to you people from your past. So, Saturn aspecting 11th house brings back past friendships to support you. People who you've not seen for such a long time are coming back to give you their help and support during this time. For Libra Ascendant and Libra Moon Sign, particularly from the Moon Sign, I have to say, this has been Saturn Dire. Since January 2020, Saturn in the fourth house is a mini Sadi Sati. What pressure, unbelievable pressure has been put on you, and yet you've mainly survived it all. Well done. There's a little bit more to come. And from Ascendant, it's similar, but perhaps not so emotionally pressing. What have been these pressures since 2020, your home life? You've been wanting to move, change, do something dramatic, and sometimes you're always stalled every time you get ready to do so. You may have spent a lot of money on your home, but it still doesn't seem 100% satisfactory. And your work life, my goodness, that an aspecting 10th house, new promotion may have been there, fantastic new job may have been there, but you didn't understand the pressure it would put on you, which has been phenomenal. You may have lost a job, lost a profession, had to leave something behind. Now, of course, COVID-19 has been here for everybody. Pressures have been there work-wise. But for Libra, Ascendant and Moon, it's been particularly acute. But here's the thing, even though you've been trying to dig your heels in and deal with it, you've always felt overwhelmed. No matter how much effort you put in, you've not felt appreciated as much as you would have liked. It's very important for, for Libra, Moon and Ascendant to feel appreciated. But things are going to change for you definitely because Saturn is going back into this house in a retrograde state very powerful in the last portion of his transit. It's particularly true from Ascendant that you will finally find the correct home life balance, which is definitely not here at the moment. And your health, by the way, for all Librans, Moon and Ascendant has been compromised, as I say, because of Libra's aspect, sorry, Saturn's aspect to the sixth house and to the first house of health. 
To the next six months then, as Saturn returns once again retrograde into Capricorn, it's final decision time for all Libra, Moon and Ascendant. Do you want to live here? Is this the right place for you? Does it suit your partner? Does it suit you? Are you happy with this situation? If you're not, now is the time you will definitely make a big plan to change your whole domestic situation. A career which has seemed to be the best thing for you is now clearly not the best thing for you. So Saturn aspecting the 10th house in his final part of his difficult Saturn 4th house transit forces you to give up a career, forces you to turn your back on something which has meant a lot to you, but has been actually draining the, the actual life force out of you, if you think about it. So it may be hard, it's going to be hard, but you have to make a dramatic change in your career during the next six months. So although Saturn in the fourth house has been tremendously stressful during the last two years, the last phase is giving you some relief because you make the final decisions. And you know, Libra, the worst thing for Libra, whether moon or ascendant, let me tell you, is making those decisions, isn't it? You will arm and arm and go round and round about five times, 20 times, until you eventually get off and think, Shall I do this? And even then you haven't decided. Saturn will force your hand now. Saturn, fate if you like, will force your hand in your career, in your health, to take care of yourself far better and everything is actually going to benefit. Scorpio Moon, Scorpio Ascendant, both. Saturn in the third house has been pretty amazing for all of you. What life changes, what dramatic factors have happened in your life that have been finally favourable for your future since 2020? Yes, has been COVID-19, but somehow you have resurrected yourself through this situation and come out stronger. Because Saturn third house has finally given you clear direction and you follow that direction in life no matter how tough it's been. You are finally feeling like you are getting into the right groove in life. And when Saturn comes back into this third house, there are still a few things that need to be sorted. Saturn's third aspect on the fifth house and seventh onto the ninth house means that students have had a really up and down time during the last two years but still you have come through it you have made it work for you and finally you will see the fruits of this hard work during the next six months so all students don't give up you are nearing completion and getting success in your education for everyone there may have been issues with your father during this last two years issues with mentors gurus people who have authority over you even boss etc supervisor it's going to come to a head again during the next six months, but you will finally resolve it. You will find compromise. You will find resolution. Same goes for issues with your children. Once again, during the last three years, that may have been difficult for you. Deciding to start a family may have been put off and then started again, and it's not always worked out well. You will make a final decision about family matters now. And children have been having such difficulties last two years. They will also come through. They will, they will actually find correct direction for themselves and you will feel much relief about this. We are now talking about older children, obviously. The biggest factor about a Saturn third house, by the way, this is one of the most favourable transits of Saturn, is that he aspects by 10th aspect the 12th house. He gets rid of your expenses. Well, you mightn't think like that has happened. Then the next six months, something dramatic will happen that will reduce expenses, will sort out financial factors for you in a wonderful way. Some new opportunity comes, some new job opportunity, creative opportunity, educational opportunity, grabbing whatever it is Scorpio in the next six months it's going to have long-term wonderful benefits for you it's a great time for startup of new business if you haven't already done that make the most of openings coming to you in the next six months some of these will involve foreign connections maybe internet connections foreign lands and these sort of business startups will be excellent for all Scorpios during the next six months so for all Scorpios moon and ascendant get ready to grab these opportunities or they'll just win past you it could be a new job it could be a business as i say it could be relationship opportunities even starting a family whatever it is it's something which you've wanted for a long time it's going to sustain you also for a very long time grab this fortune when it's in front of you Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Ascendant. Saturn in the second house of your chart since 2021 thing has been on your mind. Security, yes, security settling down, 
feeling safe, feeling secure, things that really Sagittarians are not even that normally bothered about. It's been very important to you since the beginning of 2020. And this is why it's been a difficult transit. And since Jan 2020, the aspect of Saturn to the third house has really, sorry, to the fourth house, third aspect has caused you such difficulty. Your home life has been turned on its head. Many of you have had to move unexpectedly. You've had to buy a property. You've had to sell a property, but it's not been easy. It's not been straightforward. You've often had to put in so much effort into this above and beyond what you expected to do. Or if you've stayed where you are, repairs, renovations have been necessary, but never easy, never straightforward. There's been family issues galore during this time. Maybe illness, even death of your, of your close family members may have occurred because of Saturn's aspect onto the eighth house involving wills, legacies and family finance, which has taken up so much of your time. Mother's health may have been compromised also because of Saturn's aspect to the fourth house of mother. So it's been churning your life from the very base, making you wonder where you belong, where it is you can really call home. On a positive note, last two years you may have had a new source of income because of Saturn's 10th aspect onto the 11th house of gains. But once again, because Saturn is challenging you here, these gains have demanded so much of you that you've even wondered if it's been worth it. So you mightn't be well Welcoming very much Saturn going back into this Capricorn sign, particularly from the moon, you might think, oh no, more Sadi Sati, but actually you should welcome this because there are things which are just not settled, not as secure as you think they are. Yes, it's more challenging domestic issues, but because there are things not sorted, there may be repairs which have not been done correctly. There may be property deals that are not really what they seem to be. Look at the small print before you buy or sell, definitely between now and January to make sure that you get the right deal. So it's caution at all times dealing with domestic factors. Saturn wants to secure, as I say, security and belonging for you, but it's making you feel that you're you're being pushed into situations but this time Saturn's final six months he will probably open up some new business opportunity some new saving account or deal which you can gain profit from may even be there financially but don't take anything too risky look at things which are obviously giving you long-term gain Saturn is long-term and that will be favorable there may be once again another job opportunity opening but this time don't become twice burned, okay? Look carefully at this opportunity. Are you prepared to put in the effort? If you are, it will be definitely worthwhile. Some changes in your network circles also occur with Saturn's aspect to the 11th house. Old friends may come to visit you, may be with you again. You may see people you've not seen for such a long time with this Saturn transit to the 11th house of your chart. And finally, watch your eating during this time. It can become quite difficult to see what is nourishing you. You see, for a long time, as Saturn's been in this Capricorn sign, since 2020, you've been very austere about your food. You may have gone on some new exercise or diet routine health-wise, but eating has not always been nourishing. Saturn can make you too strict about this. So review any eating or dietary program, you may need to do so finding new information in the next six months. For Capricorn Ascendant and Capricorn Moon Sign, where to begin in the difficulties, in the restrictions, in the health issues, in the relationship issues, in the conflicts, in your status and your workplace, well, it's all been happening. It seems like there's no end to your troubles, but actually it's just around the corner. Particularly from your moon, of course, this is Sadi Sati. And particularly, by the way, in your D9, if you have moon in your D9 in Capricorn, your whole life has been turned upside down. Actually, since Saturn in Sagittarius during the last four years, your life is just not the same as it was before. Capricorn Moon and Ascendant, the relationship issues have been acute since 2020. In extreme cases, divorce separation has been there, but there's been a, a sense of not teaming up with your partner anymore. You've been on a different plane. You've been wanting things more steady, more serious, or you've been just not being satisfied with your spouse in some way. There's been a distance between you mentally and emotionally. And even if you are still together, 
that element of internal separation needs to be bridged now as Saturn goes finally back into Capricorn. There may have been legal battles and litigation shown by Saturn's aspect to the third house. Siblings have been helpful to you sometimes, other times not helpful. You've been feeling out on your own, out on a limb, isolated and with so much responsibility on your shoulders. Been all changed for moon and ascendant since 2020 in your career. Some of you have just lost a job, had it taken from under you or made a big change. Gone into your own business very, very lightly and you probably made success of this because of Saturn's aspect to the third house of enterprise. But it's been a constant pressure, work every day. There's been no let up, no time to yourself whatsoever and if you are employed difficulty with superiors boss has been a constant source of hassle to you Saturn first house has definitely altered family relationships for you many people are not in your life who were in your life in 2020 it's not just COVID-19 we're talking about it's just general progress of Saturn first house Saturn first house is definitely affecting your health. You may have long term fatigue issues, difficulties because you are feeling overstressed since the beginning of 2020. And this underlying stress may have even affected your general appearance. So when is this going to end is, is probably definitely on your mind. You may think you have to wait until Saturn gets out of Capricorn to find that, but that's not the case. Saturn comes back into his own sign to give you, Capricorn, those very resolutions you've been seeking for for so long. So during the next six months, take your health in hand. Get that new diet in order. Get that exercise routine going. You're going to be able to stick to it this time. You will not fail in your resolution this time. Sort out issues with your siblings, with your neighbours. Pressing things need to be talked about. Now is the time to definitely get that going. After October, you're going to be forced to do it, whether you want to or not. Next six months give you the opportunity to really talk to your partner, to talk to any potential partner to know if they are the right person for you. Things come out that were hidden before. You see people as they are in a very distinct way now because you've got to be open yourself. That's the point. Saturn on the moon ascendant can actually clamp your emotions. You can be hiding feelings. You may think you've nothing to gain by actually being emotionally vulnerable, but you have. Conversations have to be had with your near and dearest so that you really know their value and they know your value in their life. And in your job situation, what a revolution is about to take place. You've, you've thought you wanted something and even when you're offered it now, you suddenly realise you don't want that opportunity at all. Saturn at the end of a transit often has that surprising consequence. You want something maybe part-time, something with more time to yourself to see to your health issues. You want more space in your job. And Saturn aspecting 10th house in the final six months of his transit will give you the opportunity for just that opening. Take it now. Make the space you need to do things your way in your career and you will be much more satisfied. Aquarius moon, Aquarius ascendant. If your moon sign is Aquarius, Saturn has just started Sadi Sati for you from January 2020. And it's been quite a revelation to you. There's been definite health issues. Money problems have been tremendous. And you have had to curtail much of your foreign travel and foreign connections, basically. Oh, you could say that was COVID-19, but it's been especially personal to yourself. But both moon and ascendant, Saturn in the 12th house to your own sign or moon sign has meant that you've been turning inward. Saturn is your Lord, don't forget. It's turning you inward. It's been a tremendous learning experience for you, this Saturn 12th house. You've become a little bit more introverted, even a little bit more lonely, but definitely much more self-contained. And this has been helpful. Now, when I say lonely, I don't mean that you've lost relationships necessarily, but you've been more self-contained within them. And this has been an important developmental factor. Relationships from the moon, by the way, moon Aquarius have been a little bit strained, as they always are at the beginning of Sadi Sati. 
So what's happening in the next six months as Saturn goes backwards into the 12th house of your chart? Well, first of all, you're going to settle some outstanding money situations in a big way. You're going to curb expenses. Finally, you've been re reluctant to do it because it's not something which Aquarians like to spend too much time worrying about. They've got their minds on different things and just day-to-day -day pennies, etc. But you're going to be thinking about that now and making definite financial switches in the next six months and sort out many long-standing financial expenses and debts as well because certain aspects the house of your debts sixth house the next six months may bring more health issues to yourself, most likely. But once again, certain aspect in sixth house, you'll be able to sort them out. If you have pets, it's a very important factor. They may be having health issues, difficulties, and they will need to be sorted in the next six months. Our education and even secret private study has been very important to many of you since the beginning of 2020. Even into metaphysical, spiritual factors, it's been a complete revelation. But if you are a formal student, on education course, Saturn's 10th aspect onto the 9th house of higher education has been extremely stressful. You found it impossible to focus on the course. You've been constantly distracted, constantly really miserable trying to make sense of this education experience. Now, Saturn's final transit into this 12th house will make things really clear to you. Are you just wasting your time? Have you fallen too far behind? Speak to people who can help you, teachers, mentors, lecturers, whoever they are. People in authority will help you see how to catch up, how to make sense of this educational difficulty. If you don't speak out, you're going to drown in it. You're going to lose yourself and eventually have to give up the course completely. Indeed, some of you may have had your heart set on foreign settlement or foreign education course or something where you have to go abroad to engage in it job-wise, education-wise. That may open up for you now. If it comes to you of its own accord, grab the opportunity. If you have to keep on forcing for it to happen, it's probably not the right thing. Relations with your father, which have been very strained, definitely for all of you since 2020, have a chance of final understanding, final completion, seeing maybe not eye to eye, but finding compromise. The Pisces moon, Pisces ascendant, Saturn in the 11th house of your chart since Jan 2020. What a change it's made to your life. But actually, despite all the stresses and strains everybody's been living through in society, COVID-19, you have found some definite profits some definite situation which has helped you come through and made you feel more secure. Particularly from the moon, it's very favourable, Saturn 11th house. Your financial situation has improved despite losses, despite difficulties. Opportunities have been there for new income and you have probably taken them to your satisfaction. Now, if you haven't had them, then Saturn is definitely delaying for the last moment for you. And the opportunities for new income, increase of income will definitely come between now and January 23. It's been such a favourable time financially for many of you, unless you have a great deal of afflicted planets like Rahu Ketu in these houses where Saturn is. You've been able to benefit in your long-term financial planning. But the always present temptation is speculation because Saturn's been aspecting the fifth and the eighth house of your chart, speculation and stock market. But you've probably been a little bit more cautious than you normally are, Pisces. You love these opportunities, but you've been cautious and that's a good thing. In the next six months, keep on with that caution so that you do not have unexpected losses. Business people may have had self-employment opportunities since 2020, may have had many factors to deal with past debts and difficulties business-wise. Saturn's 10th aspect onto the 8th house has got rid of old connections business-wise and you started up afresh in a really favourable way. It's going to continue as Saturn comes back into Capricorn. One thing though, because Saturn aspects the first house of your chart, many of you since the last two years have had health issues which have held you back. 
but Saturn's aspect here has actually helped you to deal with them through slow progress. It's been very slow getting rid of these health issues and they are still bothering you, but whatever it is you are doing to deal with them is working. Don't lose patience. Saturn is so strong and favorable in this 11th house. So one of the first things he always does is change your goals to make them more sustainable long term. He narrows the focus of them, as I say, and he narrows the focus of your network circle. So some of you may have already lost close friends or just been parted from them through disagreement, not having the same values anymore. It's narrowed down who is available to you, but who is available is good for you. Somebody very special, some new connection has actually come into your life. This could be a teacher, mentor, guru, guide, anybody with a Saturnian factor, or it could be a close companion, relationship or friend. And if it hasn't arrived for you yet, Pisces, it will do. Saturn will delay, but will never not give reward in this favorable 11th house. So between now and Jan 23, that special companion, friend, helpmate, even special animal companion sometimes, who will be karmically connected to you in such a deep way, will definitely come into your life. And this is very important because from the moon in Pisces, particularly it's Sadi Sati coming up for the next seven and a half years. So this companionship, this closeness is very important to support you. And you are supported also by your own faith in your future. Now you see your goals clearly more than you have for many, many years. So make the most of these final opportunities coming to you. Also, even if you are starting a family, it's extremely favorable. Saturn aspects, the fifth house of your chart. Many of you will start a family at this time. Again, a karmic connection past life is coming back into your family itself. So make the most of the final months of Saturn's blessings as he is in the 11th house of your chart. Check out all the additional transits happening around this time. They're up on your screen right now as a playlist. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to sub below. Goodbye for now and God bless everyone.